Shalom. I'm Chana Henkin here in Yerushalayim. At the end of this incredible conference, there are so many people who must be thanked, but there are two whom I'm going to thank personally. I'm going to leave the rest of the thanks to Atara Ais and Rabbi Ilan Mazur, but the two whom I'm going to thank are Atara and Rabbi Ilan, Rabbi Mazur. Atara, I've watched you with awe over the past years, building a consensus within one community after the next community across the United States for Yoatzot Halacha. You have now placed and you continue to mentor Yoatzot in 50 communities in North America. It's amazing. Rabbi Mazur, this is the first time that we're part of a new friendship with Mizrahi Canada, and we're delighted with that friendship. I want at this time to say a special word of gratitude to Nishmat's Yoatzot Halacha. We've seen you this week, we're spellbound. Some of you receive thousands of calls on Nishmat's Golda Kashitsky hotline. Uh, some of you work on the websites of Nishmat's uh, uh, Golda Kashitsky Center in four languages. Some of you are Yoatzot in communities under the aegis of Nishmat's Miriam Blaubach Center. Some of you um, are educators. Some, some of you give of yourselves in communities. What unites all of you, all of you, all the Yoatzot Halacha, is that you give endless, endlessly. You give with Mesirut Nefesh, as, as one rarely sees. There are nearly 150 of you. This summer, we're going to be graduating in Israel and in America. Another 20 plus Yoatzot Halacha you are incredible models of leadership, of faithfulness to halacha, and of exemplary and tireless devotion to the Jewish people. You're part of the change in the landscape of Torah life, and you inspire us all. Yelchum Mikhail El Chayil, Yerae El Elohim Vetzion. Rav Chia Barashi said in the name of Rav, Talmidei Chachamim have rest, neither in this world nor in the next world. You, Yoatzot Halacha, Talmidei Chachamim, you have no rest. We salute you. Shalom from Yerushalayim. The past four days have been astounding. Over 4,000 people have come together to learn about bringing Torah values into their homes. We have been mechazic families, couples, and education of the future children of our generation. But where did this all start? Atara, can you bring us back to the beginning? Sure. It started right here in Yerushalayim, Ir HaKodesh, at Nishmat, the Jeannie Schottenstein Center for Advanced Torah Studies for Women, right here on the Monique C. Katz campus in the Elisa Plato building. Rabbi Yehuda Herzl Henkin, Zecher Tzadik Bebracha, and Rabbi Nikana Henkin had a dream. They had a dream to bring you a tzot halacha to every Jewish woman all over the world. But this vision of the Henkins needed to get to the world, and it was the sustained generosity of the Kuschitsky family, with the establishment of the Golda Kuschitsky Center, that founded our Women's Halachic Hotline and Yoatzot.org and brought Yoatzot Halacha to women all over the world. I'll never forget the day I met Miriam and Felix Glava here at Mishra. Miriam and Felix had another dream. They wanted to bring Yoatzot Halacha to work one-on-one -on -one with women in communities all across the United States. In 2004, we had one Yoatzot working in the United States. Fast forward, it's 2021, we have over 25 Yoatzot Halakha working in 50 communities all over the United States and Canada. Which brings me to the next part of our story. 
our neighbors in the north. Three years ago, a group of women joined Kujaki Canada to form the first ever Nanyo Soto Initiative, where we brought Yotzan Alakha from Yerushalayim to answer questions, give shiurim, and support women across the community. And then the pandemic hit. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the thirst for knowledge and for support for families, couples, and for women grew enormously. We had countless shiurim and info nights, and our phone lines were off the hook. And at that point, we realized that we had to do something big to support and instill Torah values into our families. We decided to join together with Yotso communities across North America and form the Health and Halacha Conference. After 25 communities joined us, we realized this was going to be real big. And therefore, we turned to the Miriam Glaubach Center at Nishmat. This conference has been incredible. Our Yoatzot Halakha, Rabbanim, medical and mental health professionals. Each person we called, as soon as we said what we were doing, they said, yes, we want a part in strengthening Am Yisrael. The synergy has been truly contagious. One of the most unique aspects of this conference has been the synergy between the organizations. There's over 25 different organizations, 80 shows, and cities across the world that have come together to make this possible. And what's even more unique is how Mizrahi Canada and Nishmat were able to work together in such a way where they focused only on the mission of doing what's right for Am Yisrael in these difficult times. After such a difficult year, now more than ever is the time for all Jewish organizations to work together to support Am Yisrael. We can't wait to see what our organizations are going to get to do together next, and we invite you to join us on our journey.